Retina Rounds, episode number 115, Diamond Dusted Membrane Scraper. When performing epiretinal membrane peeling, the first step is to elevate an edge of the ERM, which can then be grasped and used to extend the membrane peel. Now there are a variety of techniques for creating this edge, and in today's video we'll show you the use of a tonneau diamond dusted membrane scraper. At the end of the video we'll discuss some other options to fracture and elevate an edge of ERM. Okay, so let's take a look at the surgical video. You can see here the, uh, this tonneau diamond dusted membrane scraper. Um, and depending on the manufacturer, there are extendable options for this instrumentation. Now the, the end of the uh, scraper you can see has a, um, a flexible tip to it. And so as it's rubbed up against the surface of the retina, the fine particles at the end can be used to abrade an epiretinal membrane. It can be used to uh, engage and elevate up an edge of the epiretinal membrane. And depending on the surgeon's preference, you can just use the very tip of it, which will be a little bit gentler, or you can use a broader, uh, broader platform of it, rubbing that against the surface of the retina to elevate uh, an edge of ERM. Uh, you do have to be careful here, though, that um, that, that membrane scraper can be, um, it's a quite robust instrument and it can actually damage the inner retina if not used judiciously. So now once that edge of the ERM has been elevated with the tonneau scraper, you can see here now using forceps, the membrane is being gently elevated from the retinal surface, first in an anteroposterior motion, just to create some more separation between uh, the epiretinal membrane uh, and the underlying retina. And now you can see that that, uh, that ERM has uh, released from the uh, underlying retina and now can be elevated and peeled back away from the central macula. You can see the epiretinal membrane retracting back here, uh, which is a, a characteristic very typical of membranes and something you don't typically see with uh, ILM. And now that last little bit of ERM can be removed. So here's some points for discussion. Uh, now there are a number of ways to fracture and elevate an edge of ERM, and we will show you examples of these different techniques in future videos. I find that simply using the forceps to pinch and elevate an edge of ERM works for the vast majority of cases. Uh, and in this so-called pinch and peel technique, end grasping forceps are used to gently uh, peel an edge of the ERM or gently engage an edge of the ERM. And then using a rocking motion once that ERM has been pinched, uh, that can uh, loosen the ERM from the underlying adhesions to the retina. And then I like to then release and then re-engage that elevated ERM with forceps to fracture an edge and then that fractured edge can then be grasped, and then uh, with the forceps, uh, the membrane can the membrane peeling can be extended. And an alternative to using forceps is to use a flex loop, which is a nickel titanium extendable loop that has very small micro serrations in it. And the flex loop can be used to gently abrade and elevate an edge of ERM, uh, and it's good not only for elevating an edge of ERM, but also can be used to elevate an edge of ILM. Uh, it's much gentler uh, than uh, the uh, tonneau uh, diamond dusted membrane scraper um, and uh, this instrument can be used not only to engage an edge of ERM or ILM but also can be used to extend the peeling uh, or uh, depending on the surgeon's preference a separate forceps can be used. Now in today's video we showed you the tonneau diamond dusted membrane scraper and this instrument can be helpful for thicker or more tightly adherent membranes. Now it isn't quite as gentle as the flex loop though and it has to be used with caution. If too much pressure is applied to the retinal surface, it is possible for the diamond dusted membrane scraper to damage the inner retina or to even create retinal breaks. However, for thicker membranes, a more robust tool like the diamond dusted scraper can allow for more efficient elevation of an ERM. And last, for very tightly adherent membranes, sometimes sharp instruments are needed to incise the membrane and to sharply dissect between the plane of the membrane and the underlying retina. Uh, and for this, a barbed needle works quite well. Uh, by rubbing the edge of a needle against a flat surface, a small barb is created, and that can be used to perform a very precise, sharp uh, incision and uh, dissection. Alternatively, for broader and thicker membranes, a barbed or bent MVR blade can also be used. Now, the bottom line here is that there are many ways to elevate an edge of ERM, and the anatomic characteristics of the ERM and underlying retina can help you to decide which instrument or instruments to use. As always, it's important to be exposed to and to try many techniques to perform the same task, 
and that can give the surgeon some flexibility and options based on the particular clinical scenario. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please visit us at retinarounds.com. There you can sign up for our email list. You'll get a notification every time a new video is posted. And if you have an interesting video or a tip or trick that you'd like to share, please follow the links on our website and you can upload your video there. Thanks so much for watching.